Hello, YouTube. Nova Piper 860. <laughs> so we're expecting that, eh? I'm uh, not smoking my Friday 7 Ellie, and I'm not smoking Haunted Bookshop. It's my uh, Eric Stockaby, <coughs> Eric Stockaby fourth generation, and uh, 10 Russians. I'm smoking my favorite pipe along with uh, some of my favorite tobacco. I only got one or two bowls of 10 Russians left. I have to buy some more. So I figured this would be a suiting um, mix for today's video. Here we are. We all got some bad news that Matches had left us. We all know who he is. We're giving social media a little break. And YouTube and Facebook and all that. I shut my Facebook down and stopped making videos. Very similar to matches. My videos aren't about anything. Um, you know, when we all started smoking pipes, I'm sure we all went on YouTube and found that guy who was a young guy dressed in overalls and a straw hat teaching how to smoke a pipe, but he didn't have a fucking clue. <laughs> you know, and then we found Mutton Chop Piper, who gives you the complete rundown and lessons and etiquette. And we found the Dagners for their pure enjoyment, you know. Watch them rise to the ranks to you know, become who they are. It's interesting. You know, and then we all know, we all watch matches. And you don't watch matches for tobacco reviews or you know what's new in the pipe world or or anything like that we don't watch them for giveaways you know we don't see them doing entering contests or you know doing trades what a lot of people do because it's snow and man I hate winter um, matches was a storyteller and that's why we watched them even in my videos when I started making videos. You know, a lot of guys will do a video, they'll have the camera right in front of them and they talk right into it like this. You know, I'm sitting sideways, but they'll have their whole body twisted like this, talking right into the camera. Match has always had that side angle, like he's talking to somebody over there. And I do the same thing. I don't look at the camera. Just look off into space. But I assume maybe he did the same thing. I just stare off into space and I think about the stuff and what I'm going to say. None of my videos are scripted. I don't think his were either. He probably had a topic. He could tell he had a topic that he talked about and then he just wing it. So it was so natural. You know, but he was such a great storyteller. He would, um, you'd hear about what it was like to be a kid in the 50s and early 60s and, you know, how he was brought up and going to school in the 60s and whatever, you know, the junior high dances and, you know, first time he smoked weed or something like this. This is the kind of stuff you'd get from him, you know, his first girlfriend and, you know, some crazy things he would do and, you know, he always would have a nice backdrop, you know, naturey, next to a river or in a park. Started doing his live shit, Friday night stuff, you know. And if you ever got an acknowledgement from matches, you know, John says, you know, made a comment on one of your videos or mentioned you in one of his videos, it was like, oh, fuck, uh, he's talking about me. <laughs> he was a celebrity. He was a YTPC celebrity. But he was unique. 
It was very unique, his channel. You never found a... I haven't, anyway. I've got hundreds of subscribers on my YouTube, and I'm sure you all do, too. If you're still active at it, I'm... Fuck, every couple months I might do a video now. I was doing them every day. I had the time. But I got hundreds of people on my uh, on my YouTube, and I don't watch all their videos. Every time someone puts out a video, nobody does. You got your favorite people. I didn't watch all of his videos. I didn't watch all his new ones, but at times it was just you'd be in the mood to sit back and listen to him tell the story. Well. So I was doing the same thing. I was always, you know, I talk about tobacco. I talk about my pipes. I talk about what would piss me off. I talk about how I hate winter. I talk about what's going on in my life. Sometimes I talk about shit, too much shit that I shouldn't have talked about. This is therapy for me. I guess I don't need therapy lately. This is like a personal video blog is what my channel is. More so than it is about pipes. I'm not trying to compare myself to John or anything, but I found a similarity there that is his he would just talk about whatever he wanted to. And I do the same thing. And very rarely was it about pipes. He could be smoking a pipe while telling a story. It's kinda of like how I was doing a lot of my videos. Then I do tobacco. Then I talk about tobacco. Do a review. Then I talk about you know pipes or whatever. I always talk about how I packed my pipe compared to other people. You know, the three load, one, two, three, I don't do that. I don't do this Frank shit. I do it like my father would, you know, sometimes I just dip it into the shit. Dip it in the bag, dip it in the pile. Sometimes you just, you know, you can tell. Now I can tell. Yeah, that's kind of smoke. You know? But, uh, I think I went on to, I heard some, I'm pretty sure I seen something come up on my YouTube feed about matches, and I'm like, nah, and then the other day I checked my, uh, a couple days ago I checked, uh, Instagram, I'm smoking a pipe, and I mean, uh, a bunch of us Canadians have a little chat group going on, like, Voxer and, and on, uh, Instagram, and pipes and bees fellow Canadian, I believe he's in Ontario, doesn't make a lot of videos anymore. Sent me a link. I was like, oh, fuck no. He absolutely confirmed it, so I actually checked it out. I creep around on social media, but I try, I'm not as active as I was. But the last few days, I was sitting there saying, yeah, I got to do a video for matches. You know, because he did influence a lot of my videos. Fuck, I got over 300 videos up, I think. Could he influence my videos a lot? He was one of the uh, the OGs, man. He was one of the original guys doing this shit. So we all start off on our channel talking about pipes and tobaccos, and then you've got nothing else to talk about, so you just talk about shit and talk about your life and talk about stories. You know, we all learned about his work, and, you know, he shared his life with us. He wasn't angry. You know, you never, you'd see him get on there, this fucking guy this, and this fucking guy that. You know, he seemed to be at peace. Anyway. Well, it's too bad. Hopefully it was, went peacefully. Sometimes passing suddenly. You know, sometimes I don't know how the exact details, and I don't really want to go asking and shit. But hopefully he went peacefully and quickly. I've been through both. I've had family members suffer. I've had family members who just wake up dead. And, uh, he wants to be sitting around a hospital room, man, watching a loved one or a friend slowly fucking slip away. That's that's traumatic. 
Anyway, so all the best to uh, John's family during these times. I know it's hard. Anyway. It's probably there. Lots of burly now. It's Friday 7, Ellie. <laughs> I don't know if it was true or not, but I think I read a rumor. Savinelli's going to make a, in honor of uh, John, they're going to make a pipe for him. You know, something I, I heard. I hope they do. That would be super cool because, man, I never heard that word Savinelli so much watching his channel. <laughs> anyway. All the best to John and his family and all you guys and all that shit. Thanks for watching. See ya.